Nunca está de una frase que también podría utilizar Hugh Laurie. Él está en la Argentina, se declara amante del tango y del choripán. Tal vez ustedes lo conocen como el protagonista de la famosa serie Doctor House, que durante más de nueve temporadas estuvo al aire en la televisión. Pero está en nuestro país porque a partir de las nueve de la noche se presenta en el Teatro Gran Rex. ¿Con qué? Con la música, con su segundo trabajo. No llovió. Habló con nosotros y esto nos dijo. Well, I'm going to New Orleans. Get me a mojo hand. And it's yes, this is the second album, and uh, I'm very, very proud of it. It's uh, I wanted to do something that was more romantic in a way, that was more uh, that had more of a female voice to it. And I'm very proud of the way it's turned out. I think it's, uh, I, I, I love it. I shouldn't say that, but I love it. A lot of this music really began with women. Um, you know, the first big jazz stars like Bessie Smith and Ma Rainey, um, you know, they were huge, huge stars right at the beginning of this music. In fact, my theory is that all music really comes from women. It's women, it's mothers singing to their babies is how, is the beginning of music. That's. And I'm probably completely wrong. Someone will tell me that I'm wrong, but uh, that's my theory. I think the whole world thinks of tango as, as a powerful music, an incredibly powerful, passionate, and beautiful music. And I think also there is there's quite a connection between tango and the blues uh, in a way. I mean, they're different forms, but they have the same um, spirit, I think. There is a similar kind of... Uh, spirit of life and uh, dignity about them. Why did you choose a little piano for the, for the first album? What, why? I chose a little piano for mysterious reasons. It's a secret. No, it's... Um, what, I like the image of it. I just like the image of it. I also wanted to make it... to make people realize that I realize that there's something odd about me playing the, you know being uh, suddenly becoming a musician Someone, uh, told us that you were today in a uh, costanera just near the river and that you had something what did you eat and what do you think about the argentine food well if i'm saying it right i had choripan i said that right it was fantastic did in fact you know it? Um, yes, I didn't know the name. Ah. I didn't know the name, but I, I did know it. I'd had it before, but I, it was so good. And I would, I would like another one right now, to right now. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. Food is so good here. The wine is so good. The music is so good. The weather is... Mm, but uh, it's such a beautiful city. It's great to be here. Last question. Is Dr. House dead? Dead, but he's he's probably had his time on TV. I think we did a lot of shows. We did 175 shows. That's a lot, and I think there comes a time when you have to say, "Okay, we, we now we move on." You know, I will all, but I will always love that show, and I will always be proud of the of the show and the character. He still makes me laugh. I could be walking down the street and I think of something he did, and he just makes me laugh. I I I love that character, and I always will. Cause I've just found out that my trouble's just begun. A las 21 a Hugh Laurie en el Gran Rex hoy y mañana y para los que se quedaron con ganas de verlo en las pantallas, el año que viene se estrena una película con él actuando también como contrafigura de George Clooney. Les agradecemos a todos aquellos que nos dieron la oportunidad de hablar con él y los invitamos ahora a compartir con nosotros una pausa porque en minutos ya regresamos con más información.